Partridge Family, based on characters originated by Clifford Goldsmith and starring Ezra Stone as Henry with Jackie Kelk as Homer. Henry! Henry Aldrich! Coming, Mother! To an impulsive, wide-awake teenage boy, each new day is like a surprise package. You open it, and all sorts of excitements pop out, as Henry Aldrich knows only too well. The scene opens in a classroom of Central High School. It is the morning of the day before Thanksgiving. Madam Chairman! tickets for our Thanksgiving dance tonight is because we have an appeal to the school spirit of our class. We've got to make them realize Central High is counting on them to put their shoulder to the wheel and get out there and dance. And if that doesn't work, I say let's get Miss Eggleston to give everyone who doesn't buy a ticket a detention. Why? Yeah, sure. Madam Chairman! Madam Chairman, I object. That's against the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights, the Bill of Rights. Homer, show me one place in the Bill of Rights where it mentions a detention. It's there, Charlie. Read between the lines. Read between the lines. <laughs> or read between the lines yourself. I say give them a detention. No! Yeah. Yeah. Order! Homer, in the future, kindly address your remarks to the chair. What chair? Me. Madam Chairman! Henry, I told you to sit down. But I've got a suggestion. Henry, every time you make a suggestion, it leads to trouble. Sit down. I make a motion we hear Henry. Nobody seconds it. I'll second it. You can't. <laughs> Why not? It's my motion. Okay. Okay. But hurry up, Henry. Thank you, Madam Chairman. <clears throat> Fellow members... I've been listening with a great deal of interest, pro and con, and I'm forced to ask myself, are we whistling up the wrong tree? Henry, stop dragging in trees and get to the point. What I mean is every year we go to these Thanksgiving dances, and what happens? That's a good question. I'm glad it was brought up. I'll tell you. I'd be glad to. Why do we? To dance. What else did you expect? I'm glad you asked. I say let's climax our dance tonight with a good old-fashioned turkey run, and we'll sell every ticket we've got. A what? A turkey run. Just when everybody's getting good and bored dancing with each other, we turn this 25-pound milk-fed country-raised turkey loose, and the one who catches him keeps him. Oh, no, that's not. Why? If you think I want to run out for a turkey in my new dress, you're crazy. And this is right. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, we can't afford to give away a 25-pound turkey. That's just it. I know where we can lay our hands on a turkey for as little as $5. Five dollars? And then you realize what turkeys cost today? Homer, there isn't a thing to worry about. You mean you've got a turkey up your sleeve? Madam Chairman! I'm not going in there again. He hates me. Now, Mary, calm down. But he does. The way he looks at me out of one eye. Mother, I've never seen anything so sneaky in all my life. But, Mary, the wash has to be hung out. And I'll hang it, Mother. But someone else has to go into the garage for the clothespin. Mary, really. I'd hate to tell you where he tried to bite me. He tried to bite you? My goodness. Bye, Alice. I'm leaving for the office. Uh, Sam, I'd like to speak to you first. Yes, something wrong? Sam Aldrich, for the last time, he has to go. Who? You know very well who. That turkey your brother John sent us. Alice, he's a wonderful turkey. He's milk-fed. Father, he couldn't possibly get that disposition from milk. 
Sam, you'll just have to get rid of him. Alice, are you sure we can't use him for our Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow? Now, dear, you know very well I have a clean, freshly dressed turkey in the refrigerator. Why not send him back to Uncle John? Now, Mary, that would hurt his feelings. Uncle John? Father, you can say anything to him. My goodness, the way we joke about his whole family. Mary, that's only his family. He's very sensitive about his turkeys. (laughs) Sam, why not just give it to someone? That turkey? Mother, who take it? Well, I'm sure there are many families in Centerville who aren't as fortunate as we are. And what better time is there for sharing what you have than Thanksgiving? Alice, that's an excellent idea. Uh, Why don't we give it to Mrs. Dixon? Of course, Sam. She has those three nice children to support. I'll drop the bird off at her house on my way to the office. Good. And be sure to put on your old clothes. What for? Dear, that suit just came back from the cleaners, and I won't have you killing a turkey in it. Uh, kill it? I... Now, Sam, don't tell me you're squeamish. Squeamish, Alice? Don't be silly. It's just that, that, well, I don't have a good sharp axe. How about a hammer? Mary. (laughs) Doesn't Will Brown have an axe? Yes. Yes, he does. I'll take the turkey right over to Will. I'll answer the phone. Mary, is the bird still tied in the garage? Yes, Father, but when you go in there, be careful you don't bend over. He's very unreliable. Hello? Hi, Mother. M- Mother, if you could think of the best news I could give you, what would you say it was? Well, let me see. The best news of all. You got an A in Latin. Latin? Dear, I'm so proud of you. Mother, you're confusing the issue. What's Latin got to do with good news? Very well, I give up. I sold Uncle John's turkey. What? For five dollars. Agnes was tough, but when I suggested she could change to dungarees for the excitement, she came around. Around to what? To a turkey run, to a turkey run, with Uncle John's turkey. But, Henry, we don't have Uncle John's turkey anymore. What? You mean he escaped? No, dear, your father's giving it away. Well, gee whiz, stop him, Mother, stop him. Now, Henry, Mrs. Dixon and her family deserve a nice Thanksgiving just as much as any member of your class does. But, Mother, they've already paid me the five dollars. What can I tell them? Just explain that the turkey is for a very worthy cause and that there's no reason why they can't use something else. What, for instance? Well, wieners. Mother... Who ever heard of a wiener run? But dear... Well, you get busy and dig up a turkey right away. Goodbye. Henry! Well, my goodness. Mother! Mother, you should have seen it. You should have seen it. Seen what? The turkey. He insisted on getting into the front seat with Father. Oh, my goodness. And you should have seen them driving down the street with the turkey trying to fly through the windshield. Oh, dear... Maybe I ought to have let that turkey go to Henry's dance after all. Homer, did anybody notice I wasn't in study, period? No. But, Henry, you must have been out of your mind to buy a thing like that. (laughs) Homer, you're upsetting Felix. Who? Felix, the duck. He was born with a name like Felix? I don't know, but I had to call him something. Henry, how are you going to explain to the dance committee? They've already got signs up all over the school about having a turkey run. Homer, a duck was all I could get for five dollars. Besides, gee whiz, he's much cuter than a turkey. He is. Don't you think so? Well, hold him up so I can get a better look. There. Hello, Ducky Wucky. (laughs) Henry, he's smiling at me. How can you tell? By the look in his eyes. (laughs) Nice, Ducky Wucky. (laughs) You're right, Henry. He is cute. Sure. And besides, we're we're doing whoever wins them a favor. How? Gee, every year it's the same old thing for Thanksgiving. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Don't you think they'll enjoy the novelty of eating a duck instead? Henry, well, well, quiet. What's wrong? Do you think you should discuss a thing like that in front of the duck? Oh, gee whiz, I forgot. Now, open my locker for me, Homer. Okay. Henry, there's just one thing. 
Even if the committee says it's okay to have a duck run, how can you? What do you mean? Well, a duck doesn't run. It waddles. It what? Waddles, Henry, waddles. Homer, you're crazy. A duck runs as well as the next person. How can it with its toes stuck together like that? Look, Homer, I'll put Felix down and show you. There. Now, let's back away. You'll see. Here, ducky wucky. Here, ducky wucky. Look at him run. Henry, that's waddling if I ever saw it. Oh, boy. Homer. Homer, where'd he disappear to? Right over the lockers. There he goes down the hall. After him, Homer, after him. But Henry, what about my next class? Haven't you any school spirit? Our class is five dollars tied up in that duck. Come on. <laughs> How's it coming, Will? Fine, Sam. Just a few more turns, and it'll be sharp as a razor. Good. Uh, how did you dent your fender, Sam? Will, have you ever tried driving with a turkey in your lap? <laughs> Look, Sam, he's apologizing. <laughs> he's kind of a cute little fella. Hello, turkey wucky. <laughs> Look at him, Sam. He's smiling at me. Is that a smile? Of course. Well, there we are. Just feel the edge of this axe, Sam. That's fine, Will. Fine. Well, <coughs> go ahead, Will. Go ahead and what? <laughs> go ahead and use the axe. What? Nothing doing, Sam. Uh, why me? It's your axe, Will. Sure, but it's your turkey. Will, I know how you hate to have other people use your tools. Sam, this is one time I don't mind. Now, Will. Now, Sam. Come on, Homer. The duck tracks go right around this corner... Oh, boy, look at them. Well, at least he's easy to follow. Homer, did you find out how Felix got into art class in the first place? Well, the way I got it, they were painting this bowl of fruit, see? And the poor little fellow must have been hungry. He was? But what happened after that is really Miss Stewart's fault. If she hadn't let out a scream, Felix would never have flown into those paint jars. At least he could have picked out two jars of the same color. Look, red and blue tracks all over the place. Henry, look. His tracks stop right in the middle of the hall. They can't. He couldn't disappear into thin air. Henry, that's it. What? He started to fly. Homer, a school is no place for flying around. There's only one thing to do. What? Go into the principal's office here and ask them if anyone's seen a duck. Henry, you're crazy. But Felix has to be caught before he does some real damage. Hey, fellas. It's Charlie Clark. Hiya, fellas. Boy, the whole school's sure talking about our turkey run. They are, Homer. You see, I've got to find them. Find who? D wait here for me, Homer. I wish you'd reconsider, Henry. Henry isn't going into the main office, is he? Why not? Well, gee, I was just in there. I've never seen Mr. Bradley so mad. What about? Well, you know that fan in his office? Yeah. Well, he had it going, see, and some wise guy threw a whole bunch of feathers in it, and boy, you should see the place. Feathers? <laughs> All different colors. Mr. Bradley's threatening to expel the kid who did it. Oh, boy, Henry. Where are you going, Homer? To stop Henry before it's too late. Henry. Mr. Bradley will be right out, Henry. Thank you, Miss Shea. Henry, I've got to talk to you. Gee whiz, Homer, don't forget where we are. Henry. Miss Shea, have they located that, that student who was responsible? Well, not yet, Mr. Bradley. Oh, and Henry Aldrich would like to speak to you. Henry. Oh, quiet, Homer. Henry, I'm too busy to speak to you now. But, Mr. Bradley... Whatever you've broken, just pay for it and we'll forget the whole thing. <laughs> I haven't broken anything, Mr. Bradley. No? Are you sure? Positive. Uh, Mr. Bradley, did you know there was something on your shoulder? Where? Oh, it'll take me days to get the feathers out of this suit. You've had something to do with feathers recently? Oh, Homer, you stepped on my foot. I did. Mr. Bradley, 
just that was Mr. Schultz, the janitor on the phone, and he says those feathers come from a duck. A duck? A duck? Oh, boy. A live one. What? Let me say that's ridiculous. A duck has no place in a public school. But that's what it was. Mr. Schultz said he saw it taking a bath in one of the drinking fountains. But, but... Oh. <laughs> Ducks don't come in those colors. Well, Mr. Schultz can't explain that part of it, but he says that he knows a duck when he sees it. Mr. Bradley... Henry, don't interrupt. But, Mr. Bradley, if Mr. Schultz could tell us which way the duck went, Homer and I'd be glad to look for him. We'll find the duck, Henry. And we'll also find out who's responsible for bringing a thing like that into Central High. We will. Oh, boy. Getting back to the troubles of Henry Aldrich. While Mr. Aldrich is having turkey troubles of his own, the duck which Henry has been forced to buy for the class turkey run has flown the coop. The scene opens in a hallway of Central High School. It is the same day. Homer, you mean you saw the duck? Not personally. But he got into ancient history, see, and started heckling Miss Eggleston. Huh? She was reading to the class about Hannibal. He heckled Miss Eggleston? She thought it was Toby Smith and sent him home to get his parents. Oh, no. <laughs> Henry, you better find that duck before Mr. Bradley does. I know, Homer, I know. Well, gee whiz, I never noticed that before. Noticed what? That eagle on top of George Washington's picture on the wall there. Homer! What's wrong? That's no eagle, that's him! Who? Felix, our duck! It is. Henry, he's changed. <laughs> Where are all his clothes? <laughs> Never mind that. Here, ducky wucky, come down. Here, ducky wucky, come to Uncle Homer. <laughs> Well, we haven't time to cultivate his friendship. Maybe I could knock him down with one of my shoes. Oh, no, Homer. You might hit George Washington. Felix, you come down here or I'll... Henry, you frightened him. Come back, Felix. I didn't mean it. Homer, after him. Henry, there he goes up the stairway. Come back. Don't go up there. Come back, Felix. you get in trouble. That's a down stairway. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Delaney's Butcher Shop. Oh, how do you do? Sam! I'm phoning about... Uh, just a minute, please. Uh, do you know what that turkey just did? Ate a whole quarter of a pound of Mr. Davin's candy kisses. Well, considering that he's going to be somebody's dinner soon, that's the least we can do for hello. him. Hello! Oh, hello! Oh, well, I've got the butcher on the phone. Hello, uh, I'm Mr. Aldrich, and I'm calling in reference to a turkey. Turkey? Yeah. They've been going like hotcakes. I think I have one left. Uh, no, no. I already have a turkey. Oh, you're selling him. I'm sorry, but I can't get rid of the ones I've got. <laughs> you don't understand. I have a live turkey, and I thought... I thought, uh, What would you charge to kill and dress it? Kill it? Yes. Why, well, tell you, I'm afraid I couldn't do that. Why not? Well, I've just scrubbed my floors. Mr. Delaney, you're not squeamish, are you? Squeamish? Of course not. But just because I'm a butcher, there's no reason for doing somebody else's dirty work. Now, look. Goodbye. But, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, listen, Turkey, stay away from those hot water bottles. Hot. <laughs> uh, will he kill it for us, Sam? No. Oh. Uh oh, Sam, you know who might be willing to do it for us? Who? Dr. Collins. I hear he's a very handy man with a scalpel. No, well, we couldn't ask him. Oh, why not? We charge you $25 a visit. <laughs> Besides, we'd look ridiculous. But, Sam, we've got to find somebody. Anything I can do for you, Mr. Aldrich? Why, uh... Mr. DeHaven, have you had any experience with turkeys? Turkeys, I should say. You have? Sam, he's our man. If I do say so myself, we serve the tastiest turkey sandwiches in Centerville. <laughs> yes, uh, well... Would you consider... What's that? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Rollins, is that your turkey? Oh, Mr. DeHaven, don't get upset. It was just an accident. Hey, hey, you turkey, get away from there. Yes, get away. Stop eating those pebbles. Pebbles? Those are bath salts, Mr. Rollins. Bath salts? At $3 a bottle. <laughs> Sure, 
sure I can take the time to eat lunch. Have you seen Henry here in the cafeteria? No, and can't you even sit down long enough to hear what happened in gym last period? Something happened? Sure, we were playing volleyball, see? And right in the middle of it, this bird tried to get into the game. A bird? Agnes, was it anything like a duck? No, it was different colors. More like a parrot. Oh, boy. And the girls were all over brown. What have I done? It's okay, kid. That's okay. But try it once more and I'll slap your face. Agnes, I didn't do anything. Don't kid me. There isn't anybody close enough to pinch me except you. I pinched you? So you admit it. Homer, did you have any luck? Uh, No. She was... I almost had him. I trailed him to orchestra practice, see? And he flew right into Albert Harris's tuba. Why didn't you grab him? Before I had a chance, Albert blew him out. (laughs) Blew who out? No one, Agnes. Just someone. Henry, I certainly want to apologize. Apologize, Agnes? For being against your turkey run. Well, now that I think it over, Agnes, maybe you were right. No, I wasn't. The dance tickets are going like hotcakes. They are? Sure. Everybody's hoping to catch the turkey. They are? I hope it's a fast one. The whole track team just bought tickets from me. Agnes. Agnes, look... About that turkey. Henry Aldrich. What's the matter? Are you looking for a slap, too? Well, what did I do? I suppose you didn't pinch me. But gee whiz, no. Oh, so it was you again, Homer. Agnes, I give you my word. Well, somebody pinched me, and I dared him to try it again. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Homer. Where is he? Under the table. Get down there and grab him. I cut it out. Here, Ducky. I got him, Homer. I got him. Henry, let go of my hair. Oh, <laughs> there he goes under the next table. Oh, I'm going to do it under our table. Excuse me. Cut it out, you. Hey, watch your feet. There oh. he goes under the next table. shape to dance. Worn out? Yeah. From sort of a duck run we had in school today. So 
we decided to postpone the dance and, until Christmas. Christmas? At first, but on second thought, we decided the whole school might not be back in shape even by Christmas. <laughs> so instead, we're going to have an Easter egg roll dance. Well, that sounds lovely. And, Mother... When Easter comes around, do you suppose Father might be willing to advance me five dollars? You see, the class is kind of depending on me to provide the eggs. Uh, I'm coming, dear. I wonder if duck eggs are cheaper. What is it, Sam? Alice, do you mind if I borrow those bath salts? Of course not. I'd like to get a little pleasure out of what happened today. Fine. And would you answer the phone, please, while I start dinner? All right. Hello. Hello, Mr. Aldrich. This is Mrs. Dixon. Oh, uh, yes, Mrs. Dixon? Mr. Aldrich, the reason I'm calling... Well, you see, I found a beautiful turkey tied to my back porch not more than half an hour ago. Well, uh, somebody probably wanted you to enjoy a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, it was very kind of them, but the point is I don't need it. My children found a lovely duck in school today. Duck? Yes, and practically all plucked, too. <laughs> and, Mr. Aldrich, there's no one I'd rather see have this turkey than you. Me? But, Mrs. Dixon... Oh, he's a wonderful bird, Mr. Aldrich. All you have to do is kill him. Now, wait a minute. Listen again next week, same time, same station, for another sparkling half hour with your favorite youngster, his family, and his pals. The Aldrich Family, starring Ezra Stone, is written by Clifford Goldsmith.